Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Inspired by how I met your mother, I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by a protean pacifist. Emptied a water bottle over a collection of passports in an unlocked safe. But was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where it's a Helen posted this. What's something weird, funny, embarrassing you've done on autopilot? Started unbuttoning and unzipping my trousers while I walk towards the toilet, just like I do at home because I'm efficient like that. Except I was at work and was walking through the shared office. Not sure if this counts as autopilot, but I was about 14 at school. We had this classmate who had Down syndrome. He kept saying, suck my dick, and a bunch of us couldn't help but laugh. When time came for our teacher to do the register, she called up my name. Instead of saying, here miss, I said, suck my, but managed to stop myself by slapping my hand over my mouth. People started laughing and our teacher couldn't quite make out what I said, wondering why everyone was laughing. One girl saved my ass by telling the teacher that I accidentally said, here mum, instead of here miss was in college working full-time nights as a security guard and full-time classes. Stopped at a red light, pushed my garage door opener and drove through. Luckily, there were no cars around. Oh, lordy. Oh, I've come to a stop. I must have arrived home. <laughs> Oops. Put my Bluetooth headphones in the freezer to charge. Wanted to go to work with the car, but forgot to turn the engine on. I stood there for 10 minutes trying to figure it out. A neighbour even came to help me and didn't see the problem. My dog's favourite part of the day is dinner time. I pull out her food, she starts wagging and doing the tippy taps, get a scoop of food and instead of going to her bowl, I dump the full scoop into the trash can. She then just looked at me with the saddest eyes and I felt terrible. So she got a little bit extra food and some pets. I used to work at the airport and got used to yelling the word next please a lot. One week I was working really long shifts and was pretty tired. I decided to stop at McDonald's on my way home from work and went through the drive through <laughs> When I stopped to tell them my order I yelled next please into the speaker. <laughs> Woke up, automatically got out of bed, got dressed, brushed my teeth, packed up my backpack, headed out of my dorm happened to glance at the clock in the lounge. It was 1.30 a.m. I've had a similar experience where I've woken up, noticed that I'm going to be late for work, jumped out of bed, starting getting ready, realised it's fucking Sunday. Back into bed. Go to check the mail, grab the keys. Oh yeah, there is garbage, recycling needs to go out. I stop at mailbox, I get mail, throw away the garbage, throw away the mail, Throw away my keys. Neighbour asks me if I'm going to need those. I just kind of stop, look around a bit and say, Oh yeah, probably. I'm an ex-bus driver and many times on my way home from work, I would go to pull into a bus stop in my car. Saying goodbye to my aunt at her husband's funeral and accidentally said, Yeah, it was fun. And she said, thanks for coming. <laughs> Put my phone under a faucet to fill up my water bottle. I recognised my mistake, and then I did it again. I was feeling an encroaching sickness coming upon me one time, so I decided to be proactive and make myself a couple of days worth of the most baller chicken soup I could manage in advance, so I'd be able to eat well even when I was dying of the lurgy. I chopped the carrots, I sorted the onions, I stewed the chicken bones, and I cooked that motherfucker down for eight hours into the most delicious stock you could imagine. Then I poured it all through a colander into the sink. The pipe underneath my sink was broken, so I put a bucket below it to catch the water leaking out. When it was full, I poured it back in the sink and proceeded to flood my kitchen. Put my cat in the kitchen drawer. <laughs> I stepped on a Cheeto and apologised to it. One morning I was sick and stayed home from work. My wife was being really awesome and served me breakfast. Trying to show her how thankful I was, I said, Thanks, Mom. We both just stared at each other for a second, then burst out laughing. 
Have a good day, sir. Love you too. Awkward shuffle out of Panera. Was taking my belt off at the TSA and then pulled down my pants. Got to my ankles and was like, nope, I'm back up. I had recently been attending a lot of martial arts classes at night. One morning at work, I accidentally bowed at my boss when I entered his office. This was in the US. Neither of us are of Asian descent. And yes, he noticed it was awkward. I work with preschoolers and we sing songs to help them wash their hands. And I started singing the same song when I went out with some friends to a bar. The song goes, wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them every day. Scrub, scrub, scrub the germs and wash them down the drain. The tune of Row Your Boat. I've worked as a caregiver for adults with mental and physical disabilities for more than a decade now. I'm a caregiver. I do basic cares, which include helping many adult men do their daily activities. Things like shaving, buttoning shirts, making sure belts are on correctly, and so on and so forth. Once, on a date, I was a bit buzzed. I fixed my date's shirt and told him he needed to look in the mirror and see if he wanted a shave. <laughs> my wife's friend and her husband were leaving after dinner at our house. As they're leaving, she says, love you, to my wife. Naturally, I respond, love you too. Uh, yeah, good night. I have two kids and I'm in the habit of pointing out things I think they'll like. Rainbows, the moon, nice dogs. One day in work, I turned to a young male childless colleague and said, oh, look over there, a cat. I got a weird look. I was looking all over for my keys and finally thought that I might have left them in the car. I went outside and my car was locked. So I pulled my keys out of my pocket, unlocked the door, opened the door and realised how much of an idiot I am. I said, no babes, you're wrong, to my boss at a management meeting two weeks ago because I was daydreaming about my boyfriend. Kill. Me. Now. <laughs> no babes, you're wrong. Have you ever done anything on autopilot that was embarrassing? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who drenched some passports? It was... A drunk. Drunk college student broke into neighbour's dorm and forgot which end of the water bottle you're supposed to drink out of. I thought this was a kid. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.